Okay, so we've created our lens, we've added this tap interaction. Uh, we're just about ready to publish, but we want to test it on our device just to double check to make sure everything's working. Testing inside Lens Studio is great, but it's always good to test on an actual device and make sure it's working as intended. All right, so inside Lens Studio, we have this preview and Snapchat button at the top right. Go ahead and click that. And if you've never done this before, you'll be prompted to pair your device with Lens Studio. So open up Snapchat and just scan that code and you will pair with Lens Studio. Take one see just a minute to receive the updates that you've paired, and then it will start sending the lens. Now, sometimes you don't get that notification, uh, so you don't need the notification open the lens. Just here in the lens carousel, just look for that lens studio icon, and that will be your lens. Uh, so we can see our lens working. I can tap, and I can change the post effects. Now, this little like bug icon, you can open that up just for some information about how your lens is doing, but we don't really need it right now with this lens. Now, let's say that we want to change our uh, text font. Let's go back to that other font. And if we save the lens, once the project saves, it will actually re-push to Snapchat. That might take just a minute for Lens Studio to send the lens to Snap, and then for Snap to send it to your phone. Sometimes it's a little slow, uh, so just be patient. Uh, but in the end, it should all work fine.